I uh, got cut off. I had to free up some space on my phone. So, where were we? We were just done with puke bins that are excellent to have. I uh, can't go wrong with having Q-tips. You know, this is just a luxury. You don't really necessarily have to have it. You're just going to smell really bad. Uh, it's good to have uh, non-stick pads. That's going to cause a lot of discomfort when you're taking items off. Um, it's good to have some iodine swab sticks. Or you can just get little packages of the iodine. Which I do have some of those as well. Um, split sponges. Uh, basically just more gauze. A uh, bigger roll of gauze. You know, whole bags of gauze. And these are non-stick, big non-stick pads. Kind of little kits already made up. Uh, you know, some more medium gauze pads that won't stick. Uh, I got some gauze from Steven at Primitive Fusion that I stuck in there. And these finger condoms. Finger cots are awesome because if you cut your finger and you put a band-aid on and you're washing your hands a lot, instead of having to take your soaked band-aid off, you know, redress it, yada yada yada, it's great to just put a finger cot on it and not have to worry about it. This stuff is very expensive, however, very important. This will stop bleeding like that. Um, this came in actually one of my packets that I got. But it's just a little powder. Looks like that. And you just sprinkle that wherever you're bleeding profusely from when you can't get it to stop bleeding. And it'll stop bleeding. Um, I believe they used to use like gunpowder and stuff to do the same concept. Um, good to have some hand sanitizing wipes. You know, kills the germs. Um, this is something I stuck in here. I thought it was pretty necessary to have. Let's try it over here. Sorry about that, guys. A wind and go flashlight. I got this at Woodville Surplus for $5.99. I like to keep it in my kit, my first aid kit, because in case the power goes out and you have an emergency on hand, you know, you just wind this sucker up. Yeah, you gotta wind it up a lot more than that. You get the gist, though. Yeah, it's just starting to get a little power. There you go. Once you wind it up for a little bit, it'll stay lit for a little while. So, very cool to have, very important to have a light in your kit. Um, these do take up a lot of space, but I would recommend having some. Or, especially if you're not near water or a cold creek or something. Ice packs, definitely good to have around the house. Um, you know, then again, you gotta have, I don't know why I have so many. Well, I do know why I have so many, because <laughs> when I went through my surgeries on my hand... I had to, you know, dress them, clean them, dress them, and then wrap my whole hand up. And I just bought a couple so I could just keep rotating them out while I washed the other ones. Got quite a few of those, quite a few of the wraps. Um, then we get into little kits, you know. You, it's good to have your little butterfly strips. Um, there's iodine prep. Uh, Bacitracin. It's good to carry a pen in your kit. That way you can mark. If, uh, say, you get a bee sting, you can circle it and see how, or a spider bite or anything, see how far it's spreading. Uh, sanitized scissors are definitely a must and I like to keep you know a little first aid step by step I have one of these in each one of my kits just a little know-how 
Um, I found this. And they have them for humans as well. But it's a magnet. And it's got, opens up and it's got all kinds of information. This is how to do CPR on your pets. And keep your pets safe. Believe it or not, I have had to do the Heimlich on my dog before. Not this dog, a different dog. <clears throat> and I like these little boxes too to put in your kits and I'll be utilizing these, you know, in different ways. They came with a first aid guide, you know, some alcohol pads, some band-aids, antibiotic, triple antibiotic ointment, burn cream, you know, just the basics, but I'll definitely be using those in my kits. And then you can get, you know, the actual kits. They've got instant cold press. And you can put all your medical information in these. These are good to have. You know, and then, you know, each of these kits have, you know, gloves and cleansing wipes. Uh, I threw some ibuprofen in there. Some moleskin. If you're hiking on the go a lot, you know, you're definitely going to utilize that moleskin. Um, and these are just, you know, abdominal pads, different kinds of gauze pads, an iPad, and not the type you play on. You know, another first aid guide. And I like these little carrying kits, because these are the best to just chuck in your pack. So I'll probably be, uh, stacking these up a little more full, and utilizing these in my packs. We got butterfly closures you know, regular band-aids. I cannot tell you how much I dislike plastic band-aids. I have chucked all the plastic band-aids out of all of my kits, and I just have the cloth band-aids. You know, I got a couple press seal bags in some of the bags, cleansing wipes, gauze, tongue depressor, safety pins, tweezers, all kinds of good stuff. And this is the stuff I've pulled out of my bug out bag in the box when I had everything in the room over there. Um, I actually just won this in a raffle at work. A little first aid 85 piece kit. Nice hard pack. It's got a, you can hear the ice pack in there. Um, you know, your emergency ponchos. Emergency ponchos. Emergency blankets, got to have a couple of those in there. You know, your survival tent, all good things to have. People don't think about little comforts like this, but man, I tell you what, if you've ever had a corn, <laughs> you know how painful those suckers can be. So just that little bit of cushion in between there is going to make a world of difference. You know, makeshift tourniquet. Good to have a ankle or elbow brace. Of course, us women are going to need our feminine products. We've got some quick clot combat gauze. You know, drainage sponge. All kinds of alcohol prep pads. Uh, we've got this, which is for uh, CPR. That way you don't have to touch another person's mouth using your, your universal precautions right here. Some uh, non-sterile cotton balls. And these little kits that I got from Jay, Sweetest Nightmare 1. I added a couple little dental sticks in there. A thing of matches and some... I like to do this too. If you ever find anything that has those uh, stay fresh things in them, a lot of medications will come with it. I just chuck some ibuprofen, some Tylenol 3s, and some regular Tylenol in there. As well as this has, you know, poison ivy, cleanser, sunscreen, all kinds of goodies in there. Good to have one of these in your kit. I know I'm all over the place, guys. I apologize for that. Uh, this is just a little makeshift sewing kit. 
that was given away for free advertisement for O.E. Meyer, which is a good uh, home medical equipment shop that's close to home. Uh, suture strips, definitely good things to have. Uh, some triage bandage, bandages, transparent dressing with the absorbent pad in it, good to have. Good to have, you know, Q-tips. Press towels. Uh, those are the uh, looks like it's got Jace must have been writing on them. These are just the pop up towels. Came in a cute little glass jar. Now, this. If you're allergic to anything, you know, it's even good if you're not allergic to anything because somebody that you're traveling with or someone in your family may depend on an EpiPen. Now, I don't know if anyone's ever used these. Um, I go through extensive training with stuff like this every year. It's got instructions right on it. And I know how it is to get really panicked in the moment, but, you know, pull off the blue cap. You swing, and you firmly push it in right through the jeans, right through everything, into their leg. And you're going to hold it there. You're going to hear a click, and you're going to hold it on there for about 10 seconds. That's That 10 seconds is when that drug is going into the leg. And then, if you can, you're going to want to seek medical attention, ASAP. Keep the EpiPen on you for the paramedics. Because they're going to want to know what time you administered it, how much you administered, and what the reactions were after you administered. So, keep, keep this after you've deployed it. Got me a nice little package from Sweetest Nightmare. It's got those tiny little gauze rolls. I love them. I love it all. I also got a nice little medical package from Sunset Bay Bonnie. It has the tourniquet band in it. And it also had um, the black braided silk suture kit. Very good stuff. I also got a waterproof first aid kit from Ed Taco Grizzly. This has all kinds of good stuff in it. Towelettes, tape, gauze, bandages, all good stuff that you're going to need. You know, and then I go overboard, you know, with having some sting relief. Um, I got this from Sammy Prepper, Bushcraft Australia. It's got some scissors in there. It's got a file and a knife. It's got a little screwdriver bits on it. It's got a red light and a battery and it also has a magnifying glass on it with a ruler and a pen. <laughs> Look at that little pen. You can write. And I want to say it had some tweezers in it but I don't know where those have gone. And if you can't brush your teeth, these are good things to have. You got the bristles in them, brush away. There's all types of different ones of these out there. Um, I, however, on my EDC, carry a little oral hygiene kit with me. You know, it's got your floss, your toothpaste, a toothbrush. And then, I carry.
carry a bag with extra hair ties, extra shoelaces, and extra bandanas. There's bootstraps, shoelaces, hair ties, a couple bandanas, another bandana. And last but certainly not least. This is probably what I will end up carrying in my EDC bag uh, from American Red Cross. This has... I have stuffed in here an emergency trauma wound dressing, an Israel bandage. I have stuck in here a minor first aid module, has lip moisturizer, triangle bandage, rehydration salts, purification tablets, 10 of them, a skin marker, bacitracin ointment, 10 bandages, 10 band-aids, safety pins, field medical card, first aid and instruction sheet. I would be keeping that in my EDC bag as well as this one. This one has elastic bandages, um, bandages, gauze, cotton, shears, and airway, um, like trach type thing, and adhesive surgical tape. And it also has uh, the Israel bandage inside of it as well. So I may not have to carry this one. And one of my very favorite kits that my mother bought me. We've got a surgical instrument kit for minor surgery. I am not a surgeon. <laughs> I do not pretend to be. But when push comes to shove, something needs to be done for my family or myself, it's going to happen. I give you a bunch of hemostats, one, two straight pair, a curved pair, a pair of scissors, uh, also comes with a hooked with a sharp point. tweezers, a flashlight, uh, antiseptic, towelette, it's got two surgical blades, and the surgical blade holder. Alcohol, swabs, uh, nylon, non-absorbent sutures, polyester braided sutures, and another set of sutures. I will probably add sunset bays. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll keep that for another kit. You never know. But, that's pretty much it for all the medical supplies I have. Um, if anybody is in need of any gauze bandages, um, surgical gloves, prepackaged, and gauze that is in own, their own packages, please let me know because I would be more than happy to share with you. I have an abundance. So, um, don't forget sanitizer. All right, guys, that is it for me for now. This has turned into 20 minutes. I apologize. Um, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.